Imagine for a moment the vastness of space. Our nearest stellar neighbor, Proxima Centauri, is a staggering 4.2 light years away. With our current rocket technology, a journey to this star would take an almost unimaginable 15,000 to 16,000 years. It's a sobering reality that highlights the limitations of conventional propulsion systems when it comes to exploring the cosmos beyond our solar system. The problem lies in the fundamental nature of traditional rockets. They rely on burning fuel and expelling it to generate thrust. This method, while effective for reaching orbit or traveling within our solar system, falls woefully short when we start thinking about journeys measured in light years. The sheer amount of fuel required for such long-distance travel makes it impractical, if not impossible. But this is where our story takes an exciting turn. Enter the world of theoretical physics and cutting-edge engineering, where two scientists are daring to dream big and challenge the status quo of space propulsion. At the heart of this revolutionary project is a device known as the Mach Effect Gravity Assist Drive, or Mega Drive for short. This isn't your typical rocket engine. In fact, it's so different from conventional propulsion systems that it almost sounds like magic. But as Arthur C. Clarke once put it, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. The Mega Drive is the brainchild of Dr. Jim Woodward and his colleague Dr. Hal Fern. Their goal is ambitious, to create an engine capable of accelerating a spacecraft to about 40% the speed of light. At this velocity, interstellar travel within a human lifetime becomes a tantalizing possibility. But what makes the Mega Drive so special? Well, unlike traditional rockets, there's no fuel being burned, no exhaust being expelled. Instead, it relies on a mind-bending concept from theoretical physics the idea that the gravitational field of the universe itself can be harnessed for propulsion. To better understand how the Mega Drive works, we need to take a brief detour into some fascinating physics concepts. At the core of the Mega Drive's theoretical foundation is an idea known as Mach's Principle, named after the 19th century Austrian physicist Ernst Mach. Mach proposed that the inertia of an object, its resistance to changes in motion, is not an inherent property but rather the result of that object's interaction with the rest of the matter in the universe. It's a concept that challenges our everyday understanding of physics and opens up intriguing possibilities. Dr. Woodward and Dr. Fern have taken this principle and applied it in a novel way. They believe that the gravitational potential of the universe, essentially the energy stored in the fabric of space-time itself, can be tapped into and used for propulsion. The Mega Drive itself is deceptively simple in its construction. The key component is a stack of piezoelectric crystals, similar to those found in electric toothbrushes. When an electric current is applied at a specific frequency, these crystals expand and contract, causing the entire device to vibrate. But here's where it gets interesting. The device is designed to vibrate primarily in one direction causing a slight acceleration. According to the team's understanding of Mach's principle, this acceleration allows the device to interact with the gravitational potential of the universe. As it does so, the mass of the crystals fluctuates ever so slightly. This fluctuation in mass, timed precisely with the vibrations of the device, is what the scientists believe creates the propulsive force. It's a bit like a rower in a boat, shifting their weight back and forth to move the boat forward. Except in this case, the boat is a spacecraft, and the water is the fabric of space-time itself. The path to developing the Mega Drive has been long and challenging. Dr. Woodward began this work over three decades ago, initially working alone in his spare time. It wasn't until his office at the university was relocated next to Dr. Fern's that the project gained a crucial collaborator. At first, Dr. Fern was skeptical. The idea seemed, in his words, absolutely insane. But as he delved deeper into Dr. Woodward's work, his interest was piqued. The potential to contribute to something that would revolutionize space travel was too exciting to ignore. Over the years, the team has faced numerous challenges. The forces generated by their early prototypes were incredibly small, barely detectable even with sensitive instruments. This made it difficult to prove that the effect that they were seeing was real and not just experimental error. But persistence paid off. With support from NASA's Innovative Advanced Concepts program, they've been able to significantly improve their design. The latest versions of the Mega Drive are producing forces 100 to 1,000 times larger than those of just a few years ago. 
While still small, Dr. Fern compares it to the weight of a couple of feathers. It's a dramatic improvement and a step in the right direction. Now, as with any groundbreaking scientific claim, the Mega Drive has faced its fair share of skepticism from the wider scientific community. The idea of tapping into the gravitational potential of the universe for propulsion is, to put it mildly, controversial. Several teams have attempted to replicate the Mega Drive's results, but so far, their findings have been negative. This has led many in the scientific community to suspect that the effects observed by Dr. Woodward and Dr. Fern might be due to experimental error or some other conventional explanation. The team is well aware of these challenges. They understand that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and that's why they've welcomed independent verification of their work. NASA has funded a study of the Mega Drive at the Naval Research Laboratory, where scientists are working to either confirm or disprove the effect. Dr. Mike McDonald, part of the team testing the device, acknowledges the difficulty of the task. Proving or disproving the theory conclusively is challenging. As he puts it, it's a bit like trying to prove that there are no pink elephants. You can't prove a negative, but you can gather enough evidence to make a reasonable judgment. The odds, as Dr. McDonald admits, are not in favor of the Mega Drive working as claimed. But he also points out that the odds are against every new idea in science. The important thing is to approach the question with rigorous scientific methodology. Even if the Mega Drive doesn't work as hoped, the process of testing it will yield valuable insights that could inform future research. If the Mega Drive does prove to work as its creators claim, the implications for space exploration would be profound. The team envisions arrays of thousands of tiny Mega Drives powered by nuclear batteries, all working together to accelerate large probes to speeds that would make interstellar exploration a reality within human timescales. The concept of a human-crewed starship, capable of reaching nearby stars and returning within a reasonable fraction of a human lifetime, could move from the realm of science fiction into scientific possibility. It's an exciting prospect that fires the imagination and reminds us of the boundless potential of human ingenuity. But even if the Mega Drive doesn't pan out, the quest for better space propulsion systems will continue. The challenge of interstellar travel is too important too fundamental to our future as a spacefaring species to be abandoned. Every attempt, successful or not, adds to our knowledge and brings us one step closer to the stars. As we look to the future, the next steps for the Mega Drive are clear. Assuming that it passes its replication trials and that no conventional explanation can account for the forces observed, the ultimate test would be to deploy an array of Mega Drives on a CubeSat in space. Dr. Woodward, now 79 years old, hopes to see his creation tested in space within his lifetime. While he acknowledges that he may not live to see it, he's optimistic that if he lives a few more years, he'll witness the fruits of his labor orbiting Earth. Regardless of the outcome, the story of the Mega Drive is tangible proof of the power of scientific curiosity and perseverance. It reminds us that even in our modern age, there are still fundamental questions about the nature of our universe waiting to be answered. And sometimes, those answers might come from ideas that initially seem too outlandish to be true. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this incredible project. Do you think that we'll see interstellar travel in our lifetime? What other revolutionary technologies do you think could change the future of space exploration? Share your ideas in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this deep dive, why not join our community? Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest breakthroughs and innovations in science and technology. And don't forget to tap that bell icon, that way you'll be notified as soon as we upload new content. Remember, every great discovery starts with a question, and every technological leap begins with a dream.